recording is okay. Bruno, you lead? Why not? Let's go. Yes, that's why we had scheduled. So let's go for it. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> so this is Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach SIG for December, December 15, 2022. Today we have with us Chris Stern, Jean-Marc Messen, Mark Great, and myself. Thanks for being here. Now, first thing is action items. Just one item today, which is pretty cool. Scale 20, 20x. Wow. So Alisa has secured the boost for Jenkins. Thanks a lot, Alisa, for that. It's yeah, it's happening in March 2023. This year it was in July, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And you, Mark, made three speaking proposals. When is the CFP ending? Uh, CFP has closed. Okay. So we should know before March. <laughs> right. We 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 hope to know reasonably soon if if any of the talks have been accepted, even if they haven't. Uh, Alyssa and I, I believe still plan to attend. It's yeah, that's... it's not that expensive for us to get to Los Angeles, so we'll plan to be there and keep the tradition that we've been there for many many years as a project. Cool. Now, next subject is GSOC twenty twenty three. John Mark, the floor is yours. Okay, so we're. The important message is we're on schedule, we're good, uh, but uh, still short on project idea and especially uh, mentors. Uh, the I'll come back on uh, on that uh, later. So the next important milestone is that on Tuesday, uh, December twentieth. Uh, we will have a um, uh, first introduction, first webinar uh, with all interested uh, contributors be, be, uh, called before students uh, to uh, get them oriented, give them advice how to get prepared, what are the next steps in the application uh, process. Uh, an important thing uh, for that is that without going into the details of the proposals, we need to show them and get them interested um, in the various uh, projects that we propose uh, for them to work uh, on. Uh, Depending if you look at the half empty glass or the half full glass, depending how you see it, uh, we have now a substantial number of projects, but I still consider that we don't have uh, enough. We need to have uh, others. We have quite a lot of uh, what I call entry level um, which don't require high uh, Java skills. Uh, we could use some more medium complexity uh, uh, projects. I'm currently reviewing all the project ideas in discussion, uh, updating them to draft. But what is more worrying, worrying uh, at this moment is that we uh, don't have a lot of mentors. So there is a, a group of uh, core mentors, I would say. Uh, Mark is uh, one and the other one is uh, Chris. Thank you for volunteering um, uh, on, uh, on mentoring one of the, one of the projects. Uh, so we need more, uh, especially uh, in the preparation part where we need to explain and coach uh, students to build a successful proposal, but also during the summer. Um, we had a CDF uh, meeting uh, yesterday, if I remember well, and uh, we're going to reach out to the CDF ambassador to see if people are available there. So uh, Alyssa uh, sent a mail uh, uh, 
yesterday during my night, so during her day for that to see. So there we still need to do an important effort. So my, my, my past experience indicates that, and others may have a different experience, but the most successful things I've done has been specifically send personal email to exact people that I'm targeting. So Rishab, will you please help me coach this pro project right. idea I've got on the Git plugin? And now that means I had to have a good project idea to start, right? Yep. And then I, uh, and, or Justin Haringa, will you please help me coach this particular thing? And Justin then, then can say, hey, not interested or, oh yeah, I'd be willing to do that again. So, so for me, the, the, the exercise there is as we get more project ideas, I will, at least for the projects, the ideas I propose, I'm going to send specific invitations to individuals saying, will you join me in mentoring this? Uh, mm -hmm. If only because that way they know there's somebody they can rely on. They're not alone as the mentor. Uh -huh. And they know that there's a project and they can decide if they're interested in the project or not. Yeah. Good, so you, good advice. And, uh, uh, and, and it's a good point that you mentioned that having a, a strong or uh, more substantial list of projects and have them correctly explained uh, is the first step. Uh, and we may not misunderstand my, my comment here. Uh, we're not at all in a crisis uh, uh, mode. So we're, we're good. We're uh, nearly two months ahead uh, uh, of planning uh, right now. So we just need to be to stay focused. Yeah, maybe people are in the Christmas Christmas mode, uh, you know, thinking of their holiday and so on. So maybe on the first of January, they will wake up and say, Oh, <laughs> I must yeah. do something for Jenkins, you never know. Unfortunately, yeah. that's not been my experience that, that oh. nothing, nothing <laughs> gets naive. them to come out except me specifically asking them will you will you do this and i think that matched with oleg's experience as well that yep. he found he actually had to personally recruit people and it, it's it's it, it may be tragic it may be whatever but it was the practical reality he was observing was if if a person is asked directly by individual email messages now that means i've got to have their email address i've got to have interacted with them those those are all complicating things mm -hmm. yeah Good, and, and I think um, we, we should change uh, a strategy in, in, instead of up to now, as we did spraying our request for mentorship, now being more targeted, uh, targeted mm -hmm. or more focused recruitment. Yeah, because I, say, I saw the tweet yesterday, I think, or the day before, uh, saying uh, offer the mentorship for Christmas. I right. found it brilliant, but I don't know if you got any feedback about that. I love the image, by the way. Thank yep. you very, very. What a cool open graph that was. That was a beautiful piece of work. Yeah, I, I think it's it's Elisa and her son. Uh, son, yeah. Well, I, I didn't want to mention him directly. So I wanted to, well, you're you're right, but I would say the elves working with Elisa. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. <laughs> yes, my bad. But okay, no, Mark. Anyways. So you've got a big list of people who could help us uh, being mentors. Okay. Well, and I'm the, the, one of the dangers is I don't have a terribly big list, but I think I think what we can do is start cultivating our lists to try to assemble more and and accept that eighty percent of them will probably decline. Yeah. But personal invitation is is more likely, it's at least for right. me, has yeah. been more likely to work than than a broadcast message. Very true. Very true. Wow. So summarize a uh, summary. Uh, next big milestone is a webinar on Tuesday. The 20th. Uh, task. Yeah, the 20th. Uh, we're cleaning up and making uh, have a clear view of the current project ideas and improve that. And on those two elements, we're going to build an active uh, mentor uh, recruitment uh, campaign and more focused than we did 
Okay, I, I don't want people to procrastinate, sorry to interrupt. Uh, but what is your deadline about new ideas for the GSOC 2023? Uh, the the final deadline is uh, when the no I'm joking when I say that is when uh, the students apply and send in their proposal. Uh, so uh, even a student can submit his own idea, idea, yeah, which we don't recommend because we recommend that, uh, now I need to get the dates right, but I think it's around uh, March, uh, end of February, March uh, for a month, uh, we uh, will help students to work on their personal proposal, review it, guide them so that they have a strong proposal. Okay. And it has been reviewed and discussed by, uh, with the community. So I don't remember. I, I think it's uh, late spring or March or so, some, something like I need to, to check. Yeah, I think it's no. March. Okay. Chris, you remember? Yeah, it's March. March. Okay. So you sure. should trust my memory more. But I don't. So, and in terms of back to the personal invitation thing, I think I'm going to send or one of us should send a, a email to past GSOC contributors and invite them to attend. I'm not sure that they'll say anything, but they may be a good voice in case John Mark, you or Chris want, want to refer to them and, and say, hey, Rishab's experience was like this, or Rushikesh's experience was like this. Yeah. Or or is that is that a waste of effort? Maybe I should ask rather oh. than tell. Would that would that help the the to have them present or not so much? Um, I think I think this were uh, I will do it uh, tonight. So there is a wonderful idea uh, to have them on board uh, during the the first webinar, and especially the second uh, one uh, would add more power. Uh, to our proposal and attract more students and hopefully strong uh, students. Uh, so this, this is a very good, uh, a very good idea. Uh, so we have the initial webinar where we explain how to get prepared and what are the next steps. And then we'll have one or two webinars where the projects will be explained in details. Okay, so uh, this, we'll the upcoming it. session is not going to be an awful lot about project ideas. It's how do you get involved in the Jenkins project and how do you start building the skills you need to create a successful project proposal? Exactly. Yeah, so more, more general in asking questions and, and uh, uh, guiding in their energy in the right direction. Chris, you wanted to add something? Oh, I was just wondering if I should contact Yiming myself personally. Yeah, oh, that would that's be a great. good idea. That would Yiming be great. certainly much more likely to respond to an invitation from you, Chris, than from me or or Bruno, right? Yeah. So, okay. so he, Yiming doesn't know me, whereas okay. he knows you and worked with you. Yeah, we're still in touch, so it should be fine. Yeah. Well, you're and, still and in I touch can... with him. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that's cool. Okay. And I will, I will say, oh, oh, that's right. The other one, of course, I'll invite Diraj. And Diraj, Diraj and Diraj and, and Vihan and Rushikesh, I'm comfortable in sending those invites. I think, I think they know me well enough to, to say yes, or, or tell me no. No, 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 <laughs> this, the, the, this is good. And, and if you want to know exactly, so my, my proposal for the attendance is uh, that they will be able to give another uh, lighting mm -hmm. uh, or, or, yeah, that's not correct English, but uh, on answers I may or we may give as uh, org admins, uh, they, they will give a practical feet on the ground yeah. uh, feedback and maybe be able to an answer in a better way to questions mm -hmm. from uh, it's the other side of the coin. Right, exactly. And, cool. and one of the, the, the questions I'm immediately going to ask them is, 
why was it important for them? What did they learn from the experience? Why right. is it worthwhile to make the effort? Yes, I asked uh, often. Well, and and I assume that part of that is telling the story that this is non-trivial effort. They are going into a competitive environment, right? This is a it's highly competitive to be accepted to Google Summer of Code, and therefore they should not expect zero effort. It yeah. takes a lot of work to prepare an adequate proposal that then could be accepted. Yeah, and and this is a message that uh, the best people to convey that uh, are uh, last year's participants. Right. So it, it's, it's not an easy task. Rewarding, interesting, but uh, a long run. Okay. That's um, what I can say for Google Summer go of Code, Bruno. No, that I don't know. What um, I don't have more to say on that. That's perfect. Uh, I think you said what had to be said, so that's fine with me. Thanks a lot, Jean-Marc. Now, December newsletter. Yeah, we it's been three months, three months, I guess, uh, since we started the Jenkins newsletter. It's a blog post on Jenkins.io. And for the last month, uh, I think Mark got the idea of uh, creating a newsletter for the whole year. So talking about platform advocacy, all the SIGs uh, that we have, so that uh, we'll be able to make a recap of what happened for Jenkins in 2022. And lots of things have happened during this year. So we'll have lots of things to say about that. Uh, so what do we have? Uh, Alisa reached out to CDF and design open source design for the newsletter headline. I don't know if we have any feedback from um, the CDF design open source. No, I, I didn't hear yet. I, I talked to uh, Alisa yesterday evening, my time okay. and uh, no. That will come. I don't have the dates the deadline yet so um, most of the time we do something at the end of the month and then it's published at the very beginning of the next month mark i don't know uh, should we target beginning of january or do you want it to be published at the end of december i'm i'm okay with whenever we would normally have published the december newsletter i think i think and early january I, is great yeah. if that's that's usually when we do it right we post the, Dece the November newsletter was actually published in early December. Yes, indeed. Yeah, so that that would be consistent with it. Um, now, if the three of you would be willing, I would love to show you what Kevin and I have framed as oh, themes yes, for that and get your insights on, hey, are there other themes? Are there themes we missed in our brainstorming? Mm -hmm. yeah. I know that Alyssa had been working uh, uh, on that uh and is is also leading the effort yeah and, and, and i think there was also the yearly recap that she was syncing with kevin right right exactly and so so in doc's office hours uh later today we'll review these ideas and try to gather more as well so the thought we had was we themes included platform modernization Oh, yes. it looks like Kevin's actively editing. Well, sorry, we'll get to watch this. <laughs> so <laughs> platform modernization, user experience improvements, and this one is mm. huge. We haven't captured all the many things that were there, but platform user experience. Then development acceleration was the way we phrase this one, which is many, many dependencies have been updated. We've got a new version of Antler. We got rid of Handlebars 3, a major effort switched out juice from the old 5.0 to 5.1 and yarn upgraded across two major versions to three. So then we've got additional testing of installers and of the bill of materials, all sorts of cool stories there. So development acceleration was a theme. Website improvements was a theme and this oh, one's yeah. a Google summer of code results. So thanks very much to Vihan yeah. Thora for that. A uh, localization simplification, thanks to the work of Alex Brandis. Crowdin makes it much easier to, to handle plugin localization, and it's easier to do Jenkins core localization thanks to the work on UTF-8 property files. Elections was a topic we thought of. 
uh, outreach and advocacy. So to this to this SIG, we thought of, okay, thanks to the new release leads. Chris Stern, thank you very much. You've been yeah. release lead multiple times yeah. and much appreciated. Uh, improvements yeah. to the community site, the, the deployment of the community site, Google Summer of Code 2022, and we've had four excellent projects there. So that's a, a, a good story to tell, four projects successful, et cetera, and nice links. Hacktoberfest, uh, She Code Africa, and the Stories site. So stories.jenkins.io. Then security was another one, and infrastructure was another one. Uh, and special examples, specific examples of sponsor con contributions. Mm -hmm. Any others that you'd like to recommend or places or maybe corrections you'd suggest for the titles or themes of these, of these big picture or summary items? Uh, we mentioned, yeah, we have the various activities we for uh, outreach. Um, we we had to cancel we had to cancel the um, um, the uh, uh, not developer meetup but the um, oh Jenkins contributor summit right correct. yeah Jenkins but, contributor but summit we had the one in, in did we do one earlier in the year so I it was didn't we have one sometime so let me Jenkins contributor summit in so there was early the one, 2022. So there was the one in Texas. The yeah, in June. One. Oh, oh, yes, yeah. yes, right. You're right. CDCon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Um, and then the and misfired one in uh, end of September, early October. <laughs> well, but but now you've inspired one more idea here on UX improvements. It's the um, the vision vision presentation by Tim and Jan at DevOps World, mm -hmm. right? It's not, it's not an implementation. It's their picture of where they think it should go. So that's, that's a really cool one. And we could link to their video even. I think we could link to their video. Good. Definitely. More suggestions. Hopefully Kevin's not panicking that I'm editing his the, the, the document. He's also editing at the same time the Jenkins Advocacy Outreach SIG agenda. Oh, so he's okay, everywhere. Good. <laughs> Very good. All right. If if no other suggestions, are you okay if I switch back and back to you, Bruno? Uh, uh, just one oh. note. Did we do something for FOSDEM in February? We, I think we, we have a stand, we, just a we, table. We no, did no, the, have a... uh, this year. Oh, this year. Oh, sorry. It was for me. It was small enough because of the the nature of Fosdem Virtual that they did that yeah. I didn't put it on the list. It was an intentional omission in this case. We we were there, but there was a CD Dev Room at CICD Dev Room at Fosdem 2022. But I didn't put it on this list because I didn't feel didn't, it was uh, it was that big. I agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, remove it. I hope that we can make it big this year or right, uh, 2023. Right. Yep. yep. Any other items that you think should be on the list? Not for my side, John Mark, Chris. No. no. I'm okay. out of idea right now. <laughs> really? <laughs> so that can happen. <laughs> I I think I think Alyssa was asking for some dedicated um, visuals for that mm. newsletter. Good. I think that has already been said. Yep. Okay, so we still need to provide the DEG SIG update to it. Yes, we each person uh, taking care of one SIG is supposed to enter all the information. And there's also a call to the community if they want to participate in the uh, monthly newsletter. There is a Google form somewhere where people can enter what they think is important for the different SIG platform, SIG docs, SIG, whatever. But I haven't seen anything yet. Um, it's not an obscure link for Google Doc. It's, of course, published in the community Jenkins IO. Uh, Alisa does it every month. Well, uh, 
yeah, Kevin, go ahead. Kevin's and my plan was to put this kind of stuff into, into that Google Doc. We were just using this assembly yep. point as our first place, but it will it will ultimately arrive in the Google Doc. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Kevin just added the next subject a few minutes ago, which is JFrog maintenance blog post. Uh, because yes, it will be a downtime on Sunday. Nobody will be able to build a plugin if I understood correctly, but the end user won't be impacted if I'm not uh, mistaken. Right, although ci.jenkins.io jobs will also be paused mm -hmm. uh, and they'll be paused because if they're not paused, they will fail to build. Yeah, uh, uh, that's true. I guess not... that there will be notifications on the site. Uh, already, you're right. They're already there. Notifications already. Well, the site itself will actually be down. My repo.jenkinsci.org will be down. And so it won't be able to notify, but notifications are already posted uh, in the blog post and also to status.jenkins.io. Let's open that page so we can get a link to it. And Jenkins.io yeah, Jenkins and is it possible to do something on GitHub? No. Uh, oh, oh, that's a good suggestion. We could, we should put in the banner of Jenkins CI and Jenkins Infra that this because Hervé did that um, a week or two when we were doing Hacktoberfest. He did that, and I think that's a yeah. very good idea, John Mark. So let's let's put a. Yeah, so what, what I'd propose there is let's put an action item, um, pull requests, requests to Jenkins Infra and Jenkins CI, or Jenkins dash Infra and Jenkins CI uh, GitHub orgs to place the uh, notice on the top page of each org. It's not sure. that it's not that we can assure people will read that, but it's one more place for them to read, right? I, one more chance. This is this is a natural go-to place where people will go if they, they start a build, they will submit a pull request. They want to check and they're oh yeah, it's it stopped. Right, exactly. So I, I think it's natural to have it there. And then they will go to Jenkins IO to see what's happening. And so uh -huh. these two places we need to, to have. Well, and I wonder, should we also put a put a um, message okay. at the top of, of ci.jenkins.io? Because uh, it will be up, but we could change its description to say, hey, it's up. It's in, oh yeah, the shutdown message, right? Yeah. Include include more information in the shutdown message. And it's really not shut down in this case, it's paused, but message on ci.jenkins.io. Very good. These are communication related suggestions that, mm -hmm. uh, that we do to the, the GFROG maintenance uh, project mm -hmm. or people that are. Right, good. Working on, on that, just uh, thinking, I think you, you covered most. And if we want really to go completely overboard we could add something on the community but i think this is a little bit too far oh oh no know. but that's another place where we should put it right because if we don't already have it do we kevin i thought we actually already had a post on community.jenkins.io for that downtime but if not uh post to community.jenkins.io with a link to the blog post um when you when you say uh, we notify on Jenkins.io, uh, do we have something in the Turbotron or a Jumbotron? Oh, the jump. Oh, that's another good idea, right? We could put. Although, is it? Is, that's that's an interesting idea. Will it? Do you think it will help if we say, "Hey, we're doing an upgrade," and put it in the Jumbotron? It, it it's top level page. Yeah, I, it is the first one, but as it's rotating, so I'm I'm wondering. I think the most efficient place will be GitHub. This is my personal feeling. Yeah. 
And I've mm. put the link, the community Jenkins IO blog post already exists. It's not a blog post, it's a post. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. So, and on community, it's already there. Yeah. That's what you're saying, right? Yeah. Bruno? Sorry. That's what I guess. <laughs> Great. Okay. So, so that's really good. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. And, so what, and these are suggestions and, and we can, we can eventually wait. So Jean-Marc, what you call one? Jumbotron is the carousel with the images yes. on Jenkins.io? Correct. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the problem of that one is that it's not static. It's rotating. So um, maybe see it. See, see. For me, the problem is is contextual blindness. I no longer look at the carousel because <laughs> I've right. seen it so many. Right? I just stop <laughs> looking at it, and therefore you could put you could put dancing bears in that in that carousel, and I would probably not detect them. Oh, you're, scaring, you're scaring me now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so we've got those seem like good actions. Any other? Oh, sorry, Bruno, back to you. No problem, Mark. <laughs> uh, uh, so I think we are done with uh, that part. Um, now the events we already talked about. First, them. Uh, well, I said. Uh, go ahead, one Jamal. Additional, uh, one additional point. Yeah. Um, suggestion for a GFROC communication plan. We may ask or organize that we have people looking uh, at the dev list and uh, community.jenkins.io during the weekend or during the outage mm -hmm. so that uh, we can answer quickly and or Twitter, but uh, no. Twitter becomes a, uh, something of the past. <laughs> but at least that we have somebody or, or rotation of that, that, but that we're aware to have a look to the social or communication. Channel. Yeah, and so and we've we've now got a time from them. Let me look to see if uh, I. It's the t the time that I think has been stated is the outage will begin. Uh, outage starts at eleven o'clock a.m. Israel time. <laughs> I don't know what that is in UTC. I'll have to do the do the math to figure that out in UTC, but that was the last best announcement I saw. So, so that's reasonably close to the time that I get up in the mornings. So it, I, I'll be available for part of that, and I think eleven o'clock. What? Well, let's look. It's it's uh, earlier than they're one hour yeah. before us. Only one. Okay. So yeah, for them it's already so nine a.m. UTC. Yeah. Oh no, I'm not awake at 9 a.m. UTC. So I hope that's so. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. So that okay. So so let's get that into the notes. Uh, Nine o'clock a.m. UTC. So I I will volunteer starting about five hours after that, but not not right at that time. I need I need to check. We we can uh, organize um, can organize that. Do we let it? Uh, do, I I think it's important, but do we leave it uh, to be um, natural, or do we organize uh, mm -hmm. that to have a role? Do I'm, we just I'm tell actually... people try to be available. Or... Yeah, I'm okay if we just leave it natural. I'm not not overly worried about it's we've we've done what we could to announce it we are certainly not going to change that date even if people grumble and complain we're not changing that date because this transition is quite important to jfrog's sponsorship of the jenkins project so so even if even if there are well the security team might persuade a change if they had some disaster but other than that i don't think there's anybody else who has enough enough leverage with us to change that date yeah yeah and I heard that um, a few months ago, uh, I think the system stopped for 24 to 48 hours and the earth didn't stop rotating. Right. So yeah, yeah. that should go right. fine. 
well, yeah, a good point. It this is this is crucial. It's a critical system for us, but there are still plenty of things to do without it. Yeah, <laughs> let's let's keep the uh, social media watch thing natural, and we just say, well, if you have spare time. Right. Know, make sure that you have a look. What's yeah, happening. and hopefully Jenkins uh, maintainers, Jenkins plugin maintainers love uh, football, and I think there is something on Sunday, so maybe they will be busy watching TV or listening to the radio. Oh, whatever. oh, is it? But we're it... talking about Saturday. No, no, this oh, really? is Sunday. Oh, sorry, no, no, I know, is, I know nothing about football. This is Sunday. So World no, no, Cup no. is on. Okay. World Cup is on Sunday. There's some World yeah. Cup matches going on on Sunday. Yeah, the final, the final is happening uh at uh, uh 3 p.m utc okay oh, so okay. Sh should we consider a little bit of a parody or a joke thing saying <laughs> instead of doing jenkins development get ready for the world cup <laughs> why not <laughs> well yeah <laughs> it depends on what part of the world right right exactly so if if you're if you're, whether whether you whether you're interested yeah okay maybe not but the, uh, just for me the the, the 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 smile part of okay watch the world cup instead of doing jenkins plugin development just this once that's like some jokes that can be made about about that twitter would be a good playground for that but uh, good we'll think nice. about that anything else regarding okay. jfrog maintenance uh, remark no we already thrown so many ideas uh, there and we need to be careful <clears throat> that we at least execute one yeah you're right but i like that there is no such thing as too many ideas except when uh, you have time constraints <laughs> next topic then for them once again so it's four and five february 2023 i guess uh, in brussels um, and the first dem stand has been approved by the organizer i think stand is a big word for just a small table uh, but that's fine. Uh, we were pretty lucky because we got a stand and half of the people who wanted to get a table didn't get one. So yes, Jenkins mm. won the table and we're happy with that. Um, I don't know, is, has any one of you um, proposed a talk to FOSDEM? I, I did not. No, unfortunately. I don't know if the CFP is closed or not. Uh, I it, I think it closed December five, but it, it closed a little earlier here. It's okay. I think so it is closed. Set. Yeah. So still an action item for Alisa this time. She will prepare a planning doc to see who will be at the stand when, and she will share it via community Jenkins IO. Uh, once again, still scale twenty X. So it has been approved by the organizer. That's fine. So even if we don't have any talk, uh, we'll have a booth, which is better than a table, I guess. I've never seen this one, Mark. Uh, how many square meters? Oh, sorry. Um, yeah. Im so imperial, probably, whatever. <laughs> probably ten square meters or less. You know, so it's not a huge space. Yeah. Three three meter by three. Thank you for sure, us European good. folks. Three by three. That's yeah, that's about ten, right? Nine or ten meters. Yeah. So square meters. That's nice. And Jean-Marc, uh, you already told us a few words about the CDF Outreach Committee reboot yesterday. So can you share some more things with us? Um, it was an interesting meeting, quite a lot of uh, uh, projects attended. Uh, they have various experience in uh, outreach. So uh, people were interested, for instance, in our uh, GSOC experience. Mm -hmm. Some uh, some good ideas and a lot of goodwill uh, at that meeting. Uh, there will be follow ups. So uh, on uh, on that. This is my personal takeaway. Mark, do you have others? Agreed. Yeah. So there will be later sessions. <clears throat> it's a it's a challenge for CDF. They've got a, a very wide range of things, right? They've got very young, uh, brand new projects with relatively small groups. And then yep. they've got these behemoths like Jenkins and Tecton, 
where where and they've got to span the, the the needs of both those things the large projects and the the new newly born projects the the just getting started good they two did four, announce six, follow. Yeah, yeah they announced uh, a cdcon go ahead mark that, that's all I was going to say is they announced CDCon. I hope I, I did want to ask here was every is are people generally okay that I posted the content of that email message to community.jenkins.io? I got that. I didn't see an easy way to make it as good looking as the message was, but I thought, you know what? Other people in Jenkins community may care. Was, was yeah. that okay with people generally? For me personally, uh, yes. Okay, great. I, I just. Well, why did I think? Why didn't I think it before? But <laughs> so you were faster with that idea, and I think it's worthwhile information to circulate. So, Mark, um, how different is it from the CityCon we had in Austin, Texas this year? It's the very same thing, or is it somehow different? I think it will be. It will be very similar. Uh, the one improvement they're trying to make this year is last year they made the mistake of having two conferences, but they spanned a weekend. And because yep. they spanned a weekend, people left and then had to come back for the second conference. Oh. And that was, they said, that's nonsense. We're going to do a single week. In that single week, we'll start the week with one conference and finish the week with the other conference so that people who want to attend both travel for a week without spanning a weekend. So, so I, I think that's very wise of them. They've also chosen a, a nice venue. Vancouver, Canada is a lovely place. And May, the weather will be mostly okay in Vancouver. <laughs> no more snow, yeah. maybe. <laughs> oh, Vancouver hardly ever gets... Vancouver's on, right on the Pacific it's Coast. On it's on the like Pacific yeah, Coast. Seattle, it's Washington. Rain. So it's... Yeah, yeah you'll, you'll have rain always. And that's... You just... You accept rain, right? That's that's the life there. Yeah. And they, they're going probably to make some smaller events in Europe, in Asia. Oh, nice. Ah, okay. I good. So, uh, um, there was one, I don't know where I wrote that down. Um, the, the, the one I spotted was in, the, in September, around September in Bilbao. And then during the winter, uh, I think it's Japan or something like that. Nice. Great. Cool. Uh, then I can't remember if you already addressed that, but yes, CDF sent a brief communication to find more ambassadors. Yeah. Uh, no, is... more mentors uh, through their ambassadors. So no. Yeah, feedback this is what I. Yeah. yeah, this is what I raised uh, during my GSOC briefing, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so this is the exchange uh, that happened uh, okay, during so... my night. Now the CDF ambassadors are a, a wider ranging group than than Jenkins contributors, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I correct. don't recall that there are many Jenkins active people. I think Oleg Nanashev is a CDF ambassador, but I'm not aware of any others that I would call active in Jenkins. So I, I don't know though. I haven't I haven't read their exact list of ambassadors. We 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 don't know. We we might be lucky. And knowing that some of the projects are not 100% specific to Jenkins, like the static uh, static site uh, mm. generator and, and these kind of, these kind of things, which is although Chris already volunteered as a, a mentor for that one. Yeah. So we'll we'll see uh, uh, we'll see what comes. If we wouldn't have done it and asked for their feedback or help, uh, we would have um, regretted it. Of course. And later. Um, I don't know the term in American English, but we faire feu de tout bois, you know, Jean-Marc? We try to reach everybody. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's not a trap. If you don't know, that's perfect. I don't know either. Which means we, we use all the means. Uh, all all, the all available know. means. I, I don't yeah. know how you can translate uh that expression but um... yes, it's still a french idiom <laughs> by a french idiot anyhow uh, <laughs> does anyone have any other question remark 
uh, subject he would want to be addressed today? Kevin, Chris, or Mark? Mark? Nothing for me. Oh, so that looks like a wrap. We're done. And this was the last one for 2022. There won't be any meeting on December 29th. So happy holidays to every one of you, if you have holiday, of course. Yeah. Uh, the recording should be available in 24 to 48 hours. So enjoy and see you next year. Thanks a lot for your time. Okay. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Happy holidays.